Hello, I'm Steven Taylor, endurance coach and fitness trainer. My company is called sttrainer.com. I'm here to talk about techniques for competitive swimming. The materials you'll need to practice competitive swimming can be as simple as a swimsuit, cap, and goggles. The secret to structuring a serious competitive swim practice correctly is to include the correct components in the program. A warm-up is extra gentle, very easy swimming to get the feel for the water and to adapt your body to exercise for that session. Next, the drills are where you can practice perfecting your technique and your form. Drills also serve to warm you up additionally and also uh, improve your feel for the water. By the time you finish the warm up and the drills, you're ready for a set. A swim set is different distances of swimming interspersed with periods of rest. This allows you to swim with better form at a higher intensity and do more swimming like this. For instance, a popular swim set might be 10 times 100 yards. 100 yards is down and back two times in a typical pool, and this could be separated by anywhere from five seconds to 30 seconds of rest. Swim 100 yards, brief rest. 100 yards, brief rest. Finally, remember to cool down so that your muscles uh, are not shocked by ending an intense workout too quickly. It's also a good idea if you want to learn to be a competitive swimmer to practice on other strokes. Now you may be a triathlete like me or you may specialize in freestyle, but learning backstroke, breaststroke, and fly strokes correctly will make you an overall well-rounded swimmer. In conclusion, if you would like to be a competitive swimmer, learn to do the things that a competitive swimmer does. Include the correct components in a swim workout, use the correct equipment, and learn to do the sophisticated techniques that swimmers do, such as flip turns, streamlining, and using a pace clock.